In this video, we'll see an example related to for each next loop. Now, what exactly is for each next loop is it is used to run the code for collection of all the objects of similar type. Now, for example, if I have collection of all the objects like these are the objects, these are the worksheets into my workbook. So if I want to get a name of all these worksheets in my workbook, how do I get it? So if you observe, these are collection of objects, these are similar objects. If I say collection of all the cells, these are similar objects. So if I want something to do with that similar objects, I'll use this for each next loop. Now, for example, I'll take an example of displaying the names of all the sheets using this for each next loop. So for that, I've written a code at the back end. I'll go to this developer tab, Visual Basic, that's a VB editor. Let us see the code now here. The name of the sub procedure I've given as sub for each next underscore one. So if you want, you can change it. Dim SHT as worksheet, that's the name of the object, that's a worksheet. And I've just given a name here, that is variable. Dim SHT, if you want, you can change the name. For each SHT in this workbook.sheets, for each this variable in this workbook.sheets, this workbook.sheets. So this workbook means Excel VBA. The reason is because if I've written a code in some particular workbook, this becomes this workbook. Okay, this workbooks.sheet message box sheets sheet sht dot name so it will display the name itself and it will go for the next iteration so now let us see that i'll just keep my cursor on this place if you see that runs on the collection of objects that are similar objects i'll click on this step into again step into step into step into now if you see the name is given as sheet one so the first sheet is given as sheet one here itself i'll click on this place and now i'll click on this run button sheet two sheet three hello world and sheet 5 and finally sheet 4 which is given here right so if you see here for each variable in this workbook.sheet this is used for executing the code for similar objects in that particular place right so these are similar objects right so i hope you're able to understand how to work on this for each next loop itself that's all for this video